what's going on everybody so uh this is gonna be the maiden voyage for jessica uh same chassis same everything that was on the rx7 and on uh, brutus uh, it's just a different body that's it uh we've done some things to lighten it up uh before this body went on and it's doing really well that's why we went and got a new body because uh it's doing real well and also i was doing damage to my battery uh because i didn't have anything covering <clears throat> so i'm gonna tighten it down and then when we go out today everything's gonna be recorded straight from the rip no practice run on it and we're just gonna see what the baseline for this rig is and then at the end of this video if you want to stay around I will go through what all has been done to this so that way you can, uh, well, maybe build one yourself. You! What's going on everybody? So, we're back out here. Same day, which is later on. Uh, had to go home, recharge the batteries, come back out here. So, this line, <clears throat> I've done several times today. I know, I said I was gonna not, I was gonna show you the initial runs off rip, but towards the end of the, this morning, end up, showing somebody in the group how to take this line, which was really awesome. So whenever you have an opportunity to do that, of course, jumped on it. It's not about the film, it's about the experience. So for the sake of the video, I wanted to be clear about that. So that way when we record this, um, I, I know that I was honest with you guys. So anyways, let's get to crawling. You. What's going on everybody i guess i could probably get in front of the camera but uh the sunset looks so good but anyways um i want to talk about what this build is you saw how it performed so i guess we're gonna dive into it a little bit more it is cold as shit so this will be uh to the point <clears throat> first off i have a spectrum DX5 Rugged. Um, the reason why I have this is because it's waterproof. The only reason. The other ones will work just fine. You're gonna spend, I think, an extra $20, $30 or something for this. Uh, maybe 50, I'm not sure, but I want something that's waterproof, so that's what that is. You can program, I think, up to five uh, 
cars or rigs to one controller. Uh, yeah, quick and to the point. So first and foremost is controller. <clears throat> now the car. The body, you guys choose whatever you want. Whatever you want your rig to be, have fun, buy it, and then lay it on there. Get the proper tools to make the holes, get the proper scissors to cut the bodies. Yes, it makes a huge difference. So a body reamer and Lexan scissors are huge. I wish I would have got the straight Lexan scissors to go with the kit, um, but I didn't, so yeah. Get whatever body you want, cut it to whatever you need to, to get it to fit your rig and have a blast like I am. <clears throat> so, Ford GT body, nothing special, except for it's a fucking Ford GT. That's a good fit. It's like, it stays there too. Try to put this where. All right, so the chassis is the Axial SCX 10-2 uh, builder's kit. I have cut the frame about that much off of the front so that way the tires will make contact with the surface first. I also trimmed the rear that way when I am in a inclined position and there's rocks here, I'm not hung up on at, you know extra framework. So cut that off as well. For the shocks, we have the Proline Big Bore 90 to 95 millimeter shocks. We have Proline Trenchers. They are the Super Swampers. We have the Proline dual stage foams inside with a little bit of glue on them just to hold them in place. <clears throat> Rear axle housing is, uh, if I'm correct, it's free, free speed, I think. I, I could be mistaken, I'd have to double check. Um, but it's a metal housing and it's cheap and it works. And so say what you want, if it functions and works the same, why pay the extra money unless these break, which this thing's been through hell and I've broken more parts than I have these axle housings. So kudos to them. <clears throat> All the links are axial, nothing special there. Front axle is the same as the rear. It's a free speed axle. Now my internals for my differentials, the rear differential is underdriven and the front differential is overdriven. I believe it's, uh, I'm 20% overdriven in the front and I'm just, I don't know what the underdriven is for the rear. The transmission is the five gear axial transmission kit that comes with the builder's kit. Um, super solid there. My motor is the Spectrum Firma 2-in-1. Uh, comes with the receiver motor, or ESC motor um, and receiver. No, not the receiver, ESC and the motor. So that has been crazy. <laughs> this motor is inc way too powerful for a crawler, just to be clear. It's a 2300 kV. I fucking love it. Uh, it's quiet, it's brushless. And I also run the massive battery pack, um, which we will be talking about in future episodes because we got some stuff in the works. But this is the battery that I run. I only run uh, pretty much Spectrum for the electronics because I had problems with my uh, first rig with brownouts. So when we did the electrical overhaul, I kept everything Spectrum just to make it simple so everything would work. And boy, does it work. I'm telling you, people have what they want to say about Spectrum and they've had ups and downs. This is no different than a Hobby Wing. 
if I'm correct, I'm saying the name right, Hobbywing uh, Spectrum, same thing. So, uh, motor ESC 2-in-1 kit, awesome. Now, my steering servo is the ProTech, um, what is this guy? This is the 1K TBL. Um, it's the big boy, putting out over a thousand foot pounds. I think it's 1100 at 88.4 volts, which is what we have it programmed to. So this boy will move some, or this girl will move some boulders. I do not have anything special going on with the shock hoops. These are the stock shock hoops that come with the chassis. The receiver is Spectrum, pretty simple. Uh, it is the three channel, uh, not a five channel. I do have an accessory set up, but I don't have anything currently running to it. <coughs> My wheels are just some steelies. They are SSDs, um, nothing fancy there. And then as far as the brass is concerned, uh, I'm, I can't remember who the brass is now, but to be honest, Amazon brass is where I originally started and it worked just fine. Um, there were some other things that don't need to be said. This works, it works awesome. So, uh, Amazon brass, I have just a little bit in the rear, and then I have considerably amount in the f of weight in the front with the weights internally as well as the brass disc brake assembly, plus the brass steering knuckles. And I'm pretty, yeah, these are brass um, tops as well that go over the axle housings. I'm not sure what those are called, but those are all brass. So. Old girl's got some weight to the front. Now, up until recently, this didn't do this well. Um, I figured out a way to make the shock keys work that I had purchased, because originally it just wasn't gonna work. But I just ran some longer bolts through there with a nut on the back, really cinched it down. They don't move. And that made me, that allowed me to kick my shocks in the front way back here so it helps tremendously i mean you guys are gonna see this when it comes out it, you just saw what it did it's fucking crazy so pretty jacked about that i like the front the rear still not a thousand percent satisfied with it i would say a good 80 85 percent satisfied because i know it'll do good but there's times I get nervous with how it settles and I wanna know if there's anything I can do differently. So that's just gonna be some trial and error. Other than that, that is this rig. Nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah. So hopefully you go to a hobby shop and uh, shout out. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Down and dirty, keeping it simple. This girl gets it. It's not gonna do everything, but it's gonna do a lot. So, it puts smiles on my faces, puts smiles on the people around me. So, I think it's doing its job. Anyways, hope you all are having a great afternoon. Love you all, be kind. You never know what someone's going through, and I will catch you guys later.